up guys we're back with another video um i haven't really got to fish a whole lot this summer uh not really enough to make a good video um so today i'm just gonna make a sit down video i don't think i've really ever done this but i'm gonna show you all my top five summer baits um you know fishing through the summer this year i've caught a couple fish on these uh specific five baits and uh, i'm gonna show you how i rig them and I will go downstairs and show you how I rig them up, put them on the rod, um, and I'll go, I'll try and go pretty in depth up here to try and tell you how to use these baits, where to throw them, um, uh, but I'm not going to be fishing today in this video, so let's get to it. Alright, so the first bait that I'm going to show you guys, um, I've just used recently, uh, it's these culprit seven and a half inch worms. Um, you know, just your regular, like your little rib and tail curly worm. Um, I rigged this on like a 4 out hook with a 1 8 to 3 16 ounce weight. Uh, so I'm going to show you all that real quick. Alright, so what I do with this bait is I get a 4 out hook. Um, you know, I rig it just like a regular worm. I've got a 1 8 to 3 16 ounce weight. Just a little bullet weight and I'll slip that right on the line. I don't peg it or anything because there's no need. Um, but I'm going to show y'all how I hook that up right now. Alright, so just like any other worm, you're just going to take your worm. Uh, I'm going to do this on the rod later, but I'm going to show y'all very quickly right now. Alright, so there's like a rib side right here, and it's got some texture on it, and then there's your flat side. Um, so you're going to take your hook, and you're going to put it right through the top, just past the barb, and go into that rib side like that. And then you're going to push it, put the bait on the keeper. Just like that. Then you're going to set the hook like that, bend the bait, push it through, straight through the flat side, stick it on there like that. And then if you're throwing near some grass, you can pinch your bait and pull it forward and put that hook and kind of embed it right into that flat side right there. I don't know if that focused or not, but you can kind of embed it right there and it makes it just that much more weedless and easier to fish. But if you're not really fishing in those thick weeds and there's not much like there's not really too many weeds in your pond then you can just do it just like that and just kind of set it on there and it'll catch fish I've caught I think I've caught a couple fish this summer I caught two or three yesterday on this rig uh, and obviously with the bullet weight on top and I'll show you all that on the line and make it a lot easier to see later all right my second bait is actually a moving bait what it, what it is, it's a swim bait. Any swim bait, really, I prefer white swim baits, like, about 3 to 4 inches. This is a 5 inch or 4.8 inch uh, Kytec swim bait, and this is a 2.8 inch white Kytec swim bait. This one is Sexy Shad, which is a really good color, but I don't have any of those in 3 inch, so I haven't been using them that much. Um, what I do for these 2.8 inch or 3 inch swim baits is I will take my 4 aught hook. Just like that. And um, I bought these without the springs not knowing. But there is a way you can hook them up. If they're not on the line, you can just do it right before. But if it's on the line, then you might rip up your swim bait a little bit. So what I do if it's not on the line is I'll just put it right here. Like that and push it through just like the worm. Go in a little bit and then take that hook back out. And I'll take the eye of the hook and I'll push it straight back through that hole I just made. And then I can tie it on the line later. Um, and then just like a worm, you're just going to push down. Kind of bend that swim bait a little bit. Go straight through to the top. And let that hook settle right on the top of the bait. Just like that. Pretty much rigged just like a worm, but I use that 4 out weighted swim bait hook. Uh, I think these are Gamagatsu Superline. I might be wrong. Uh, I bought these a while back, so I don't really know. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much how you rig your swim bait off the line. If it is on the line already, then you can just do it straight like a worm. Um, so you know, go straight through the top, just like you did it first, and just pull it over that weight. Uh, you might want to put that hook a little farther back in the bait when you hook it at first, so because that uh, weight is going to rip your bait a lot, and you don't want it to break all the way through that. And then there's just going to be that kind of a hole right there. It's a little big, but 
then obviously you just bend the bait again stick it on there like that let that hook settle on top and you've got your swim bait rigged perfectly for those summertime bass if I'm using the 4.8 inch or 5 inch swim bait uh, I'll just get a little bit of a bigger hook and that is a 5 aught swim bait hook just a weighted swim bait hook um, and that sits on that swim bait a lot better than the 4 aught um, the 4 aught, this is a 4 aught and this is the 5 aught, the 4 aught is a lot smaller you may not be able to really tell that much but it is a lot smaller and with those bigger swim baits like these the 4.8 to 5 inch swim baits it does not fit on there as well and your hookups will not be as good but those 4 aughts work perfectly for those 3 inch 2.8 inch 3 inch swim baits like so alright so we're going to start with the popper I don't really use a popper um, maybe as much as I should but I do use it some uh, the popper is a good lure when they're really not biting those fast moving topwater baits such as a buzz bait or a buzz toad or they just don't want anything that's moving too fast on the top. Um, so what you're going to do with this, you just kind of, you find a weed line and you can either parallel that weed line or you can throw uh, past the weed line or you could throw this in whether if it's like a shaded pocket and there's tree limbs hanging down or there's a limb underwater just barely you could throw that lure just past it and pop it right along past those logs and those sticks and limbs and everything and those bass will come out of those limbs that they're hiding in they'll come out of that shade and they will know your popper you set the hook and you got them the next lure I'm showing you um, there are many different styles of this bait um, and it is the topwater frog. Um, so this is pretty much your average sized frog. This is just like a regular, uh, maybe I think it's a booyah pad crasher. I'm not sure. Uh, don't take my word for that. Um, and then this is a booyah pad crasher junior. This is a smaller frog. Uh, and this is a Bass Pro XPS popping frog. Um, this is about the size of the first frog I showed you uh, but this one has the cupped mouth so that when you uh, pop it the water spits and it makes a lot more noise this is a great lure for when you've got a lot of vegetation like on the side of the pond and you can really throw it either right past or in the vegetation and pull it out and those fish will hit it right on the edge set the hook and you got it alright guys the fifth and final bait that I'm gonna be showing y'all for this top five summer, summer baits oh excuse me is the buzz bait. The buzz bait comes in many different shapes, sizes. You know, you can have a three blade, you can have a two blade. You know, the blades on those buzz baits can be big, they can be small, and some of them will have this little clacker thing on them, and when they spin, it makes it just so much louder. Um, now, really, all the buzz baits work. Uh, for me, uh, really, just the regular two blade buzz baits work best for me. Um, you know, these three blades, this is a KVD swim bait, uh, not swim bait, buzz bait that I bought at Walmart for like five or six bucks, um, and it works great. I've caught so many fish on these, you know, big fish, small fish, um, and then I've got this one that I got at Bass Pro, this is a regular, you know, your two blade swim bait. Uh, it's got a really big blade on it though, and is a black and red, obviously, it's a laser eye. I bought it from Bass Pro. Uh, it's got a really nice hook on it, and I added this trailer hook that I bought at Walmart. I think it's an Eagle Claw, but yeah, those Eagle Claw trailer hooks work really good on these buzz baits. Um, I've caught a, a lot of fish on this buzz bait, you know, big fish, um, smaller fish, you know, those buzz baits. And if you add like a swim bait on them or a crawl or anything to give them a little more profile, the bass will have something to hit at and that profile will be on the hook and they'll come and eat that hook and then it's a lot easier to get them if you have profile on there but I generally don't use that I just let them you know come after that blade and usually I can catch them um but yeah that's really up to you you can add that kind of stuff on there if you want but you don't have to trailer hooks are also optional but they uh really do help with your hookup ratios I've caught many fish where I have them on the trailer hook and not on the regular buzz bait hook um so yeah, uh, that's it for buzz baits. Uh, so when you throw a buzz bait, you want those either overhanging trees or you want those limbs to be underwater, kind of like the popper. Um, or you can have those lines of vegetation right on the side of the pond, like where you would throw your frogs. 
Um, you want to throw them either past, so if you're throwing a shade pocket where there's a tree uh, on the side of the pond, the sun's out here, and it's shining that uh, tree shade right onto the water, and there's like a big, uh, almost like a circle in the water where that tree is shaded, shading the water, uh, you want to throw just past that shade, and you want to just reel your buzz bait, and let the fish tell you how they want it. Um, you can either reel it fast and burn it on the top, or you can reel it slower and just just enough to keep it on the top. And um, yeah, so whenever you get your blow ups, that's what the fish want, and you keep repeating that over and over until you can catch all the fish. Um, the next thing about buzz baits is if there's vegetation, you don't want to throw it into the vegetation because you can get um, a lot of weeds and grass all up in this blade, and it will not spin as it should. Uh, but it is okay to throw it on the edge of the vegetation. Uh, if you parallel those banks with vegetation, then those bass will come out of it and smash your buzz bait, set the hook, and you got them. Um, really, you can throw a buzz bait almost anywhere. Um, early in the morning is probably the best time to throw them, or late in the evening, um, when those bass are really coming shallow to feed. And you can throw your buzz bait in open water, in shallow water, deep water, not too deep of water. Uh, my general rule is if it's over uh, 10 feet, don't throw top water because if those fish are all the way on the bottom in those summer months, when the water up high is really hot, then they're not going to want to come you know, all the way out of the water 15 feet to get one bait fish off the top. Um, and also, throwing the buzz bait... Um, if you're throwing it in open water, uh, what I would usually say is reel it all the way up to the bank. Don't stop it in the middle and then just burn it in from there. Um, because a lot of those strikes, those fish will follow it all the way from one side of the pond all the way to the other where you are standing and they will bite it right before it gets on the bank. And that is how I've caught a lot of my buzzbait fish. Um, but I've also caught them you know, out in the open water and by the vegetation. So yeah, that's about it for buzz baits. All right guys, I'm gonna show y'all how I rig these up, line, rod, reel, everything that I use for these baits. Uh, so here we go. All right, so um, I'm gonna try and break my rod. All right, so I'm gonna try and go in order of the lures that I did upstairs. Um, so the first lure was the culprit worm, seven and a half inch fire and ice color. Um, so let's start with the line. Uh, the line that I use for this lure, um, I've got 20 pound braid, and then I've got that tied up to a 12 pound fluorocarbon leader. That's Berkeley Vanish. Uh, the 20 pound braid is just Power Pro. Um, and then I've got that line spooled up on my Shimano Canaan. This reel is a really good finesse reel. Um, I use it for swim baits too. Uh, but I'll get into that later. Uh, it's a 6.8 medium heavy uh, Shimano Compre Worm and Jig Rod. Um, it is really good for these worms. Uh, I got a pretty fast reel, the 7.2 to 1, um, the Canaan. It is really good for these worms. Uh, it really helps me catch up to those fish. And I've caught so many fish on this setup. It is unreal. All right, now we're gonna talk about the swim bait. What rod and reel combo do I use for the swim bait? And you're gonna be pretty surprised when you hear this, that it is the same exact combo that I throw my worms and jigs on. Um, I've still got that 20 pound Power Pro Shimano, uh, on the Shimano k 150 HG, Shimano Compre 6.8 medium heavy rod, still throwing with that fluorocarbon leader. Um, I didn't talk about the leader uh, for the last lure, um, but you don't want a really long leader. I mean, like, you don't want to go to a four and a five foot leader. Uh, I like to keep my leader less than three feet long. He's riding a mower down the road. All right. I like to keep my fluorocarbon leader less than three feet, you know, no more than two and a half feet. Um, Usually I'll just do a one foot leader, but this one's a little longer. Um, you know, one and a half foot is perfect because I can retie a couple times without having to make a new leader. All right, um, now we're gonna go to the those top water lures that I showed you guys upstairs. 
Um, I'm going to be completely honest with you. The popper and the buzz bait, I will throw on the same exact rod that I threw my worm and my swim bait on. And that is the Shimano Canon on the Shimano Combray. This is uh, literally the most versatile combo that I've ever bought in my life, meaning that I can throw pretty much anything on it. Um, I mean, this is just such an amazing combo, and if you are a beginner fisherman, I really recommend buying this combo. Um, it doesn't come as a combo, you have to order both the things separately, but, um, I mean, when I got it, I knew it was going to be a good combo, and I've used it for about a year and a half now, and it is just amazing. I've caught so many fish, haven't had any problems with it. Um, now for the frog, I will have a different combo, uh, but being completely honest, this combo is what I use for buzz baits, poppers, worms, and the swim bait. Alright, now I'm going to show you what setup I use for the frog. Um, I actually use my brother's setup because his is really good. Um, it's a Corrado 200 HD, I think. Uh, 7 2 to 1 gear ratio. Uh, it is paired up with 50 pound Power Pro uh, on a Falcon HG 7 foot heavy rod. Um, I don't use a leader with my frogs because throwing in those lily pads, uh, that floor fluorocarbon or mono can really get frayed um and so that is why i don't use it because i don't want to break off fish when i could just get a straight braid and the fish wouldn't even care um but yeah this is a really good setup and i recommend getting heavy or extra heavy no lighter than heavy because you really need to get those fish out of those out of that really thick vegetation when you're throwing your frog because you will either want to throw it right on the edge of that vegetation or in the vegetation and a lot of times you will get your blow ups right on the edge of that vegetation and that will take it straight back in there uh, and get you all tangled up and you really got to be able to whack them out of there with a good heavy rod. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, drop a like on the video. Comment what you want to see next. Uh, thinking about doing a challenge video next, but I don't know what I want to do. Um, I hope you enjoyed my top five summer baits, and I hope you learned something. And I will see you in the next one. Peace. All right, so this is the setup I use for the frog. This is the pop frog. Uh, obviously, there are many more frogs. Um, so I've got the Shimano Karate. This is actually my brother's setup, but this is the only one I use. Uh, it's a Falcon HD. Uh, seven foot heavy. I've got it paired up on 50 pound braid straight to the frog no leader um, This rod and reel really helps it get right out of those pads and all those grass and everything